What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm currently in Elkhart, Indiana, where they have their RV open house, where every manufacturer has all their brand new 2023 models on display. And right behind me, we have the brand new Cougar 29 BHL fifth wheel here that is really, really cool. I can't wait to show you what they did in the bunk room here. It's unlike anything else I've ever seen. And it's gonna have, it's gonna be a full bunk room with a cargo access door with a flip down desk. It's really cool, or I guess a flip up desk, I should say. This is like a Cougar 30 BHS travel trailer in a fifth wheel with a desk. So let's go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button as I upload new videos almost every single day of the week throughout the entire year and show a lot of never before seen RVs. So hit that subscribe button. And then if you didn't know, I am in a sales position. So I do not get paid by my company or by any manufacturers to make these videos. I do these on my own time in hopes of finding somebody like you that might be interested in purchasing this RV. And I would love to be a part of making that experience a memorable one for you. So you can go down to the first link down below in the description if you are interested in purchasing this RV and you can leave me your contact information through that link there so that I can get in touch with you and helping you purchase this RV. That's all I got for y'all. Let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tours online. Thanks to my father-in-law who now works with me, we've been making videos that are 100% in Spanish on his YouTube page. There's links down below in the description of this video to find those, or you can just search RVs con Luis and you will be able to find those pages there. He is also in a sales position, so if you or a family member speak Spanish and would rather work with him, he is also here to help as well in regards to purchasing your RV. And if you or a family member would like to see tours of these RVs in Spanish, you now have access to those. So search RVs con Luis, go watch his videos there and subscribe to his channel. So this here is the brand new 2023 Keystone Cougar 29 BHS, or BHL, sorry. So this here is kind of your floor plan layout that you have. Now from here forward, this is the Cougar 24 RDS. Then they added on another about five feet of space here that has this L-shaped bunk room with another flip down bunk here and a desk and a cargo door on the back. Then it has everything else, the similarities of a, a Cougar 24 RDS from there forward. So really nice floor plan layout here. You can see the specs that you have here. It's right at about 33 and a half feet long. And then it has now has a tankless on-demand water heater. And then you also have the Goodyear Endurance American Made tires on here as well. Plus you have the Road Armor suspension system. So you can see your Goodyear Endurance American Made tires. So glad they finally went to those on a Cougar. I've been saying that for like two years that they need to do that. And then you have this Road Armor suspension here that has six inches of travel, three inches up and three inches down, which you can see by the video on the screen here is gonna show you how much better that suspension system is versus other ones at handling different shock absorption going up and down the road. You also have an outdoor kitchen on this model here as well. So really thrilled to see this where you have the capital griddle here that will pull out there. And then you have the hot point mini refrigerator here. But love that you got a griddle on here. This is interesting because I don't think the Cougar 24 RDS had an outdoor kitchen before. So they did some modifications to this kitchen and maybe the Cougar 24 RDS will also have an outdoor kitchen as well. So close that up and then you're gonna have a nice big storage compartment through here, solid slam latch baggage doors. And you can see how much stuff fits in this here. And then you do have this kind of toy hauler garage flooring material in your pass-through storage to make it a little bit more rugged. Prep for the tire pressure monitoring system. And then you also have your uh, wiring panel here with your color coordinated wiring that's all labeled behind that panel there for everything on the touchscreen control panel inside. You have an inverted outlet here, TV connection. So if you wanted to mount a TV to the wall that would slide out, you can do that as well. Aluminum framing here welded on both sides of the frame all the way throughout on any Keystone RV. And then this is a climate controlled storage compartment as well. Slam latch doors, so that just slams right closed. And then you have your propane bottle up front. Brand new graphic package for 2023 for Keystone Cougar. And it looks like what Cougar should look like. I mean, it's hard to see exactly on this one because we're parked so close to another Cougar model, but it looks really, really clean. Have your little Cougar logo right there as well. And then it has these indentations or whatever they would be called there in this molded fiberglass front cap to give it a more aggressive look. Come here, you have the Road Armor pin box. This is going to 
pivot back and forth this way and this is going to have a big rubber bushing here so as you brake and accelerate it's going to absorb a lot of that shock there going up and down the road and then you have your hitch vision plate so this will allow you to help line up the vision that you have or um, your truck bed going back so you can see kind of how that's lining up with the pin box as you're going backwards and backing up to your pin box there and then you have your led light here so you can see what you're doing in the dark open this up another change for 2023 all keystone rvs are coming with two 100 amp hour dragonfly lithium batteries you have your spare tire in here as well and you have your solar or uh, your um, battery disconnect switch there so you can come and kill all the power to your battery from right there without having to go through your entire rv to make sure you turned every little thing off going around to this side we're parked pretty close to this trailer here next to us but you have all your water connections inside this door here, which I won't be able to open all the way, but you can get the camera up in here. So you can see all your water connections in there as well. Plus all your solar equipment, the 30 amp solar charge controller, your inverter. So you can run outlets in this RV off of the solar system. And then everything is prepped on this RV to add more solar equipment, including on the roof, you have your 220 watt solar panels. So 440 watts in total. And then you're going to have another plug up there that is already installed from the manufacturer to add more solar onto the roof. So that's everything with that. Let's get back to this side. You have your awning out here, pretty long awning that covers all the way to the other end of your entry door, two outdoor speakers here as well. And then because this is in Cougar's half ton series, you have the slant down into the front cap there and then down into the back as well. So this is going to be Cougar's less expensive fifth wheel model where you have, this is the Cougar full model here that has the full profile front cap. So this is more lightweight and also less expensive. You have your ladder to get up onto the roof, prep for a backup camera up there as well, 50 amp power cord back here, and then you do have your fresh water connection back there as well. And it has a towing hitch on here. So you have a 3000 pound weighted hitch there for towing, brake lights and reverse lights on the back here. So you do have a reverse light here in the middle there. And that is pretty much everything on the outside. So as we head inside again, this is the Cougar 29 BHL. Looks just like the Cougar 24 RDS, except you have this opening here and you have a really nice open spacious floor plan. The Cougar 24 RDS has been highly, highly popular. So it's done very well. Your touchscreen control panel here, this will link to your phone. So everything this touchscreen control panel does, you can do from your phone as well, including things like seeing the temperature of your RV, um, turning on and off your ACs, uh, your lights, your slide outs, things like that. Battery heat switch. This is going to allow you to send heat to your batteries, um, making sure that I guess you're not supposed to charge lithium batteries when they're below freezing temperatures. So that's going to allow you to be able to do that without having to have concern there. And then you have your tankless water heater controls right here. So as we go through this living room layout, you have your recliner seating here. This will have the pull strap for these recliners and they will recline all the way back here so pull that up and then you can see as i push this back actually you know they go pretty far back but actually not all the way back but they are designed to go all the way back so some of that is just completely dependent on where exactly they were positioned and if you happen to get one where they don't go all the way back they can just be moved out a slight bit so that you can push them back further this here has heat and massage features and the light plus the usb port there your two cup holders here that does have this little part that comes out so you have different depths of cup holders and these recliners are very comfortable directly across from the tv directly across from your fireplace that will also put out heat and i have these in my coo in my family's cougar 364 bhl and have felt like they you know even after sitting in them in a couple for a couple hours are very very comfortable spot for a wi-fi router up here if you want to install a wi-fi router you can get that installed there residential air filter in your coleman mock ac and then it is ducted coming out of both sides of the AC. So you can see your vent there and your vent there as ducting runs down this way and this way. And this is gonna be also ducted to the AC in the bedroom as well. So they're ducted together. New Furion 12 volt refrigerator here. So that'll open right there and right here where you have that 12 volt refrigerator running off the battery system. And then coming to the right, all of this countertop space all along here and then you have a bunch of storage in this kitchen as well deep cabinet space there that goes all the way back to the sidewall which means it's also going to be accessed through here as well it's all kind of open through there 
with those frame pieces then storage up above the microwave plus all this open space up above here as well back behind here you used to have your opening there and then you can see you have your closed off space there because that's where your outdoor kitchen is going to be and then you have a nice big storage underneath the oven now this has the Furion oven but it is the bigger RV oven so it's not their smallest one that they make it's kind of in this in-between ground where it's not the biggest but it's not the smallest three burner stove from Furion um, plenty of room there with the glass cover to give you more countertop space and three pull out or sorry four pull out drawers that are all the same size so you'll have those four there all this countertop space RV size microwave and then this low profile vent hood that doesn't take up much space but does vent out all your smells here in the kitchen so that's pretty much everything in this area you also have two additional usb ports here outlet up in the cabinetry there and outlet back in the corner here this one is an inverted outlet so you can get power to that from the solar panels now turning to the right you have this dinette table here this is a freestanding dinette table so you can move it around wherever you want and it will collapse and sit down in these spots here to make this into a bed with the back cushions that you have. You will also have storage down underneath here that you can get to. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah. Peek down in there, you have your storage. Be the same underneath there as well. And then you have this kind of freestanding ottoman as well that is going to flip up, have your storage in there. And this you can kind of arrange and put wherever you want inside the RV which brings me to actually let's look at one more thing outlets usb ports there plus the mirror storage up through here and then that ottoman that's unobstructed all the way through sorry i feel like i'm starting to say one sentence and i think of something else in my head and i completely cut myself off so storage all the way through unobstructed custom ceiling panels here that give it a nice design you have your speakers in the ceiling there so that's going to be one speaker there and one speaker here up above me Blade AC vents, so these are going to push air out in a 360 degree motion to give you better air coverage and help cool down your RV quicker. And then we get back into this space back here where this is your bunk room. And actually, I should show it like this first because I think first and foremost, this is a bunk room. Put this down. Flip this down. And you have basically a full size to queen size bed there with that bunk space. And that desk is also the legs for that bunk. So that desk is going to hold that bunk in place. And you have a nice huge size bed here. Easily could sleep an adult couple. And then, I mean, this could sleep like three kids. Then you have the L-shaped bunks here that go across as well to give you additional sleeping. Ladder here that is a retractable ladder kind of nice because this could be multi-purpose you could use this for things other than just your rv and then that will attach right in here open that up open that up you have all that storage and then you have window there with pull down blackout shade and a window there with pull down blackout shade both windows do open and one more window down under here with a pull down blackout shade so all those open you have outlets here and you could put a tv on this wall if you want outlets down here in USB ports. And then you have this cargo door area where you can slide anything in here while you're in transport or just always have access to get into this portion of the RV from outside as well for whatever you best see fit. It does have a sliding pocket door so you get this privacy here as well. And then of course, as you saw when we walked in here, this whole thing, it's kind of heavy, not gonna lie. It's a little heavy to do with one hand. You flip it up. Okay, there we go. Flip it up and latch that into place. Latch this into place and you now have a desk. And there is a couple things I really like about this. This is where I was talking about the ottoman. You can bring that ottoman into here and have a seating bench with that or whatever kind of seating arrangement you want. But this desk here is so big. I mean, it's the length of the bed. You can fit multiple monitors on here. You also have holes on each side so that you can run electrical cables down underneath. And then down underneath, you have a big storage space down under here, and then you have outlets and USB ports over here as well. So this is a really practical work solution for people that are looking for a desk as well in a bunkhouse where you really get both. You don't have to have one or the other. You can have it all in this model. So I really love that. I think this is really cool what they did. You let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of what you think of this space, but I think 
this is a really, really cool thing that I could see based off the questions I've got over the past year or so. This is gonna check a lot of boxes for a lot of people, so I'm really excited about that. And that's pretty much everything in this um, back bedroom space. Let's go back up front where you're gonna have your main bedroom and bathroom. This is gonna be your bathroom here where you have the nice rectangular shower, storage back here, your towel rod, nice deep storage there can fit, you know, at least probably half a dozen towels in there easily. This shower here, you do have the seat. I'm gonna step in here and your height in the shower is probably about 6'4 or so to right here. So you get a couple extra inches here. Could be about 6'5 or maybe 6'6 and comfortably fit in here. And then can easily stand, me being 6'2, underneath this shower head. So it wouldn't even have to lift that up being 6'2. So if you're a little taller than that, you might have to lift it up to get underneath it. It's a stainless steel shower head with all those components there. Shelving here for all your soaps and everything there as well. And then you have directly across from your toilet, you have your storage here, three pull out drawers, cabinetry through here. And this really is the same bathroom setup we're used to in the 22 models. You have your medicine cabinet, outlet here, light switch, stainless steel, faucet, and that's everything here. Now going to the bedroom, the bedroom is going to be same as the 22 models as well, where you have the wardrobe slide out here, a slight little lip going right there. So just keep that in mind. A nice Tempur-Pedic style mattress that is a, you know, upgraded mattress that is not, not going to be just some cheap mattress that you get essentially. And then you have in the slide out here, your clothing rod to hang clothes, a nice little shelf, pull out drawer there. You have more storage in there, a two tiered shelving system here next to the bed with little cubbies down underneath here. And in any Cougar half ton model, your bedrooms are going to look identical. So they're always going to look like this. Now you do have the slant down in the ceiling. So when I step up onto the lip, I would say the ceiling height is maybe about 5'10 or so. So I have to duck down a little bit once I step up on that lip. But something I do really like is up to this part right here, this whole back wall is flat. So that's going to give you more of a flat wall back there to either lay your pillows up against or lay up against in when you're in bed and give you a little bit more support there so it's not just arched the whole way. Do you have a spot for a TV on the wall here so you can fit a nice big TV, nice big window that will open up there as well. Strut assisted storage going down underneath the bed here. And so you have that storage going all the way to the back wall. You have an additional cushion right here which I don't know, this might be used for helping with making the bed, the dinette table into a bed, and it also can sit on top. It can sit on top of the ottoman to give you a little bit taller seating on the ottoman as well. Little cubby underneath there as well, and little cubbies here. So on this model, you can see it only has one AC on it. Now that could be your difference between a lot of different dealers and maybe some pricing you may see. In Texas, we're always gonna order a model like this with two ACs on it. We would be stuck with this RV forever if we didn't put two ACs on it. So we will definitely have two ACs on anything this size in Texas. And this one doesn't have it, but that second AC would go right there in that spot. Both outlets are inverted back here as well. So those will run off the 400 watt solar system and you have the USB ports back there as well. And that is just about everything. Head back out here. Definitely curious your thoughts on this model and what you think about this bunk layout back here with the desk. Definitely curious your thoughts there and curious what you think. Also, because this is a Cougar half ton model, you have the hyperdeck flooring in here. So that flooring is about this thick underneath this vinyl sheet. And it has polypropylene and fiberglass layers plus a two pound condensed block foam layer that is gonna act as your insulation and as some more support. But the um, polypropylene layer on top, that is gonna be a super strong material that is much stronger than wood, it's more durable than wood, doesn't dent as easily as wood. And this whole flooring is significantly more lightweight than wood, so it saves a lot of weight and it's completely water resistant. So theoretically, it could be fully submerged in water and would never incur any water damage. So that's a huge deal, something they do there. And that's pretty much it. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally help you out. I am in a sales position, so I do not get paid by my company, nor do I get paid by any manufacturers to be here at this event. I travel here and spend my time here on my own dime in hopes of finding someone like you that might be interested in this RV sometime down the road 
And hopefully you've seen this video and you're like, you know what, that's the RV for me and Miles is a salesperson for me. And if that's the case, I would love to personally help you out. And if I can help you out, go down to the link down below in the description. You can leave me your contact information there, select the Mesquite location, that is where I am located at. And that will drop your contact info directly into my inbox so I can get in touch with you as soon as I'm available. So I'd love to help you out with that and love to help you make this RV yours. Go down to that link down below in the description. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.